Hi, my name is Daniel from Norway, and you're watching Technology Crazy! Hello Technology Crazy here, and today we're going to be doing a really quick video on the future of Apple. Okay, so we're going to be covering four topics here. We're going to be covering the iPod, the iPhone, the iPad, the laptop, and new Apple inventions all together. Uh, so we're going to start with new Apple inventions uh, because it's such a cool topic. I think that and kind of expanding our brain to thinking uh, what, what could be part of the future. So the very, very first thing is hardcore gaming. Um, this is a concept that has been around for a long time as Apple coming into the gaming industry like Microsoft has. Uh, a lot of other companies have done gaming, and the iPod does do good gaming. The iPad too, um, but it's just not for those hardcore gamers. I think they need a physical key or physical joy stick or whatever they call it. I don't, I'm not a hardcore gamer. I just know that people will really want that, and I think it would be a really big industry since Apple's on the top of everything. Just to add in another thing there. Another thing is eye scroll. Now this they've been experimenting with this technology for a long time of kind of having a screen that they can touch uh, that you can f change to any size sort of thing. Uh, so that technology probably won't be here for another 10-20 years but it's such a cool idea I just had to put it in. Or even if they just had a foldable display on the iPod or iPhone or whatever uh, just you give that option of making it a bigger screen. I think that would be really really cool. Um, also I've seen this really cool video on the internet of a touchscreen keyboard or not touchscreen touchscreen table. Um, basically what it was is a whole touchscreen table. If you want to go and check out the video, just click on the icon up there of the video. Um, but basically you can stick anything onto the table like a camera and it'll automatically upload the or download the images off the camera onto the table and then you can resize them and edit them and all that stuff. And you can also do all your ordering. You can order from a restaurant or pizza place right from your table, touchscreen, um, also with voice and all that stuff. And it is real. It just, it's so expensive. Um, so I think Apple will integrate some of those features with the iPad, including the SD card. Um, this is a cool idea that I thought up. Uh, that they've been having an SD card that you can stick into your camera, and then it will, as soon as you take a picture, it will go to your computer. They have had that for a very long time. Um, so they definitely can start doing that with the iPad. So have an SD card in your camera, take a picture, it will upload to your iPad, or when you stick your camera onto your iPad, it will automatically register whatever they choose to do. And then you'll have your pictures on to your iPad. I think that would be a really, really cool technology that they'll probably come out with fairly soon. Uh, next is iRing. Now this is more of a future thing that maybe not Apple will do, maybe a different company, but basically it will be a ring uh, that you can change the volume or change the next song with a touch kind of interface on a fancy looking ring. So uh, I have pictures uh, just to show you there. Next thing we're going to be talking about is the iPad. Um, I think that they can definitely add camera gestures. Now I'm talking about having your front facing camera from your iPad and kind of moving through the pages with your hand, sort of like connect. Um, I think def the technology has been there and I think they could have done it with iPad 1 but obviously uh, for business reasons they'll probably not come up with it for a while. It'd be their new feature and then everyone will have to buy it. Uh, so camera gestures I definitely think will come in the iPad fairly soon. Uh, next thing we're going to be covering is the new QDEF display. I think this will go on all of the devices like the iPad, iPhone, iPod, um, stuff like that. It's just basically a better screen uh, for the iPhone, iPad, just to make the colors really look real. Uh, it's not actually a new screen altogether. It's actually a filter that they would put in between the other filters in the LCD screen and uh, just make the color stand out and look a lot more real. I also think that they're going to be coming up with the A6 processor, probably in the iPhone 5 or something like that, with a quad core processing power. Next thing is the iPhone. Once again, the QDEF display, and you're free to look that up on Google uh, to find out more about it. It's really, really interesting. Now, with the iPhone, people have been asking me, will there ever be a physical keyboard? Now, I don't think so. I, I don't think that Apple would go into that business just because they specialize around the touchscreen and how thin it is. And with a physical keyboard, it'd have to be a lot more thicker and a lot more breaking, like the iPhone would break a lot more. And I don't think Apple will ever want to deal with that. Um, another viral video that came out right before the iPhone 5 is something, a concept that won't come out for a very long time, I don't think. It had the laser keyboard and the holographic screen. And if you want to go and check that out, just click on the icon up there again. Um, the laser keyboard, it's possible. Uh, they have the technology just not to fit into an iPad or iPhone yet. Uh, holographic screen, I think they can come out with 
both these things, I think they can come out with it within the next 20 years. Uh, but holographic screen, they can do it, but they need a lot more equipment and a whole room set up for it. And also in daylight, it wouldn't work very well. Um, probably in the next five iPhones, there will probably be a mini projector. I only say this because uh, camcorders are now having projectors onto the camcorder, so you can actually show your videos and stuff on the wall uh, with your friends. So I definitely think the iPad, iPod, iPhone will have that really, really soon. I think they might even do it with iPhone 5, maybe iPhone 6, uh, but basically so that you can show your screen onto the wall. And um, it doesn't add a lot more space into the the, the iPhone, so it won't make it too much more thicker. So I think it's Apple. Apple would be fairly interested in that. Uh, next, I think they're going to expand the iPhone Siri uh, feature that they just came out with with the iPhone 4S, uh, just to expand it a lot more. Maybe integrate it with um, buying stuff, as I said before, uh, like maybe buy me something from this pizza place, and uh, it would uh, buy you pizza or something like that. <laughs> kind of a funny idea right now, but maybe in the future it would be very, very possible. Maybe even integrate Siri with. Uh, controlling your device right now they have it for um, setting events and stuff like that but maybe like um, open up this app or stuff like that uh, but once again those things will be added in the future just to make you upgrade next is iPod once again the QDEF screen I think will come in and the a6 uh, quad core processor and I also think we're gonna be starting seeing one terabyte of storage this is just because it's getting a lot lot more smaller and they've almost been able to fit it into the iPhone uh, so I think one terabyte of storage is very, very possible in the near future. Uh, next thing, which is kind of including all of the Apple products, is wireless charging. Uh, it's very, very possible because I actually have an iPad, and it's when you have a certain case, it'll charge your iPod wirelessly when you stick it on the, the table or whatever using electromagnetic uh, induction. Uh, so it's, it's a fairly simple technology that they can integrate right into the iPhone, so you don't need a case, and you can buy the Apple charger or whatever, you stick it on the Apple charger and it'll charge wirelessly, and uh, I think that'd be a really cool add-on. Um, and I guess I'm just going to write down a few more things about laptop and I'll come back to you in a second. Uh, we'll cover everything about the laptops. Okay, sorry about that. I just had a few more ideas I want to write down uh, just to make sure I share it with you. Uh, basically, I think the laptop will follow the same things as the iPods, iPhones, and stuff like that. Of course, it'll get thinner, probably better processing power, but I'm just going to be focusing on a few cool features that they might add. I definitely think they're going to add Siri or whatever they choose to the Mac because it's such a cool feature. Uh, they're definitely going to be adding it in the next few times, just like FaceTime, they've added it in. Uh, just those major features that they've had with the iPhone. I think they're integrating with the laptops. Uh, I think they're going to be thinner, as I said, and I also think there'll be a touchscreen near or on the trackpad. Uh, it's a really cool idea to have the uh, LCD screen and then a touchscreen as a trackpad. And I have a picture up there, too, just to show you what I mean. Um, and it'd be really cool because you can have your widgets or something there uh, just to have that extra touchscreen interface, and as well as the the trackpad that you'd already have. Um, I think they're going to have battery battery life and I can't really think of anything else. I'm not don't know a lot about the laptops uh, but I, th I think hardware will get a lot better and you might even see like holographic screens or something like that in the future. So uh, please comment, rate, subscribe and stay around for the Pikmin program and I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye. Okay, so the Pick Me program winner this week is Tech Genius HD, and I make really cool tech videos, and if you want to go and check them out, go and click on the Click Me button on your screen right now. If you want to be part of the Pick Me program, that just means basically a free shout out. All you have to do is go into my latest video and say Pick Me, and you can say it as many times as you want, and I'll randomly pick someone for the next video. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone uh, for helping me reach 1 million views. Uh, I just reached it a few seconds ago, and I'm going to be putting up a special video later on in the week. Um, to kind of celebrate the one millionth view. So uh, thank you very much, and I guess it's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.